part of the terminology that you will hear over and over again in your audit is called control objectives. These are the objectives that your organization is trying to achieve. Let me give you an example of one. Our controls provide reasonable assurance that we are preventing unauthorized access to sensitive information. The controls that you put into place have to be designed in order to achieve that objective. So they would be things like locked doors and video monitoring, security guards, logical access controls, visitor badges, sign-ins, those kinds of things. And so the auditor would review and test those controls to make sure that they are achieving the objective that you set out to do. In your report, you'll have anywhere between 10 and 30 control objectives. Your auditor can help you write those objectives and make sure that they're reasonably presented because ultimately an opinion will be issued about whether or not the controls you've put into place are operating effectively and achieving the control objective.